Shalom and Shalom brothers. Welcome to another edition of the so-called Black Men series. I just want to reiterate, the so-called Black Men series is not going to be an in-depth video on, on the individual I decide to pick out. The so-called Black Men series is mainly going to focus on any historical documentation of the proof of their skin complexion and any authentic images of said person that I pick out. These videos are only going to be like 5 to 20 minutes long. And if you haven't seen them, please go watch part 1 and part 2. Part 1 I did Beethoven and part 2 I did Michelangelo. So with all of that being said, as usual, please subscribe, like the videos. Let's get straight into it. So now we're going to read a bit of information of John the Sixth. So John the Sixth, born May 13th, 1767, Lisbon, Portugal. Died March, died March 10th, 1826, Lisbon, Prince Regent of Portugal from 1799 to 1816 and King from 1816 to 1826, whose reign saw the revolutionary struggle in France, the Napoleonic invasion of Portugal, during which he, he established his court in Brazil and the in, implantation of represent, representative government in both Portugal and Brazil. John was the younger son of Queen Maria I, becoming heir on the death of his elder brother and taking power in 1792 as a result of the mental illness of his mother. In 1799, her illness was declared incurable and he assumed the title of Prince Regent, which he used until her death in March 1816. John married Carlota Joaquina, eldest daughter of Charles IV of Spain and supported Spain against the French Republic. But Spain made peace at Basel in 1795 or Basel, however it's pronounced, and served as a vehicle for French pressure on Portugal. In 1801, Spain finally invaded um, Portugal, though peace was made at Badajoz in 1807. After, after his victories in Central Europe, Napoleon proclaimed his European blockade, threatening to close the port of Lisbon. As French troops crossed Spain, and approached Lisbon, the royal family retired to Brazil with, with the government. November 1807, 18, 18, yeah, 1807, Britain guaranteed the throne of the Brancas, and in 1808 sent an army to Portugal under Arthur Wellesley, later Duke of Wellington, which forced the surrender of, French, of the French. John gave full military support to Wellesley and two French invasions were repelled. After Napoleon's surrender in 1814, John was expected to return. But on Napoleon's escape from Elba, John returned to Brazil, to Brazil, which he made a united kingdom with Portugal. On March 20th, 1816, his mother died and he became king. So that's just a bit of background on John, King of, Port, uh, uh, King of Portugal, but speaking of Napoleon, let's see what Napoleon had to say about John himself. So from the memoirs of Napoleon, we have a description of the King of Portugal, John the Sixth. So it reads, <clears throat> I had not then seen the Prince of Brazil. Therefore, I could not laugh as I afterwards did, when I beheld his corpulent figure, clumsy legs, and enormous head, muffled in a hussard uniform, his negro hair, which by the way was in perfect keeping with his thick lips, African nose, and swarthy colour. Let's run that back. His negro hair, which by the way was in perfect keeping with his thick lips, African nose and swarthy color. And that's from Memoirs of Napoleon. So from unmasking King John of Portugal, it was established some time ago that the sitter with Northern European features labeled King John of Portugal was unlikely to be that particular monarch. Known portraits of Dom Joao the Sixth, King of Portugal, Brazil and the Algarves 1767 to 1826 show him to have been a dark man 
with coarse facial features. We're going to run that back one more time. Shows him to have been a dark man with coarse facial features. So, of course, this is the image that they have of King John the Sixth of Portugal. Now, brothers, didn't we just read that he had thick lips? Didn't we just read he has an African nose? Didn't we just read he had Negro hair? Didn't we just read he had a swarthy color? Didn't we just read he was a dark man? So who the heck is this? Now this is what we call artistic license. They give themselves permission to lie about any historical figure. So the question is, do we have the real image of King John the Sixth of Portugal? Boom. So this is the authentic image of King John the Sixth of Portugal. Now, through through all the descriptions that we read of him, this seem this one seems to be more accurate, doesn't it? Now, this is a comic or newspaper article of John the Six. So we're going to read it. John the Six, King of Portugal, a dark mulatto was the maker of modern Brazil, transferring his throne to Rio de Janeiro in 1808. He ruled Portugal from Brazil. So now we're going to get some documentation on the son of John VI of Portugal. So from Dom Pedro, the magnanimous second emperor of Brazil. So this is his son. Now, of course, if he's a so-called black man, then his son's going to be a so-called black man. But since we have the documentation here, we're going to read it. So, attracted by the astronomical observatory and surprised Professor Maria Mitchell by his appearance, as well as well as by his familiarity with the instrument, with the instruments, she wrote in her journal, I had imagined the emperor of Brazil to be a dark suave we're going to run that back. I had imagined the emperor of Brazil to be a dark, swarthy, tall man. And that's the son of John the Sixth, King of Portugal. Hopefully this was an edifying lesson for you brothers and sisters, giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh and giving acknowledgement to Hamashiach Yahweh Shai.